actually to kind of before I continue I want to kind of quickly give you guys a heads up as well in case you are interested for those of you who live in England specifically I am going to be DJing for the first time outside of London I think this is the first time where did I play before outside of London I think I have before anyway I can't remember but it doesn't matter let's just say this is the first time outside of London um, for this great night called Club um, it's happening in Birmingham on the 27th of November at a club called Suk, um, Suki Tensi from 10 p.m. until 4 a.m. Tickets are going to be available in the description. When I click this, you're going to be able to click the link in the description and buy a ticket. So make sure you go on down in the heart of Birmingham. I'll be playing, um, you know, during the night. Um, the light basically is centered around you know afro deep deep house sort of music so it's going to be stuff that i generally don't get to play out um but it's going to be nice to be able to play that outside on a loud system for a captive for a kind of a, a receptive crowd let's say that'll be a decent kind of turn up for the books and generally i'm just kind of excited to go back out there and play again and like i said it's been it's been a bit dry out there in terms of having gigs in london um you know with the pandemic and things changing and clubs maybe or bars realizing that maybe they don't need to have me play for four hours if they if no one's going to be there they can just basically put a spotify playlist on and occupy time that way it makes complete sense so the need for that is kind of gone on so maybe now um the difficulty now would be for me to kind of find these other gigs that are kind of a level above which kind of you know because they're in a club um it requires an entry fee um there's going to be other great djs they're playing too there's going to be a crowd that's going to be you know obviously of course receptive but also um eager to hear you play and want to be impressed on that kind of it's a bit more pressure on this than it would be in the places I usually play on the weekend. But again, you know, I've got enough experience under my belt, enough of a um, good taste level, I'd imagine, to kind of understand what the cl what the kind of crowd would want. So I can confident enough to put together a fairly decent um, set that should hopefully stand me in good set and have a few people tapping their feet and nodding their head. That's the only thing that I'm kind of looking forward to. And like I said, I'm just really, really grateful um, to have the opportunity to do so. And I'm really kind of looking forward to doing it again. It's going to be outside of London, so it's a chance to kind of travel a bit, get out, you know, see some different sights and sounds. And in general, I've have I have a very interesting relationship with flipping um birmingham anyway i think this might have been it might have been the first place i went to like a proper proper rave rave like in a warehouse and i think it might have been like a drum and bass rave i don't know what it was um i can't remember but it was around when i was like 21 maybe 20 right um that was on my first first proper drum and bass rave and it was absolutely mental i think i lost wallets i lost phones and i i think that was how when i used to i used to carry on an slr and take pictures from my blog um if you remember back in the day i had a blog called stop begging that I kind of like, used to upload all of my kind of adventures gallivanting around town pretending to be some sort of you know streetwear kid or whatnot so that was quite fun but yeah birmingham was a great time man i remember we stayed in some hotel that we ended up kicking getting kicked out of i remember one of the guys we were hanging out with had a fight with some kid in some shopping mall that was really mad um just a great time but i do remember it just being such a sketchy place it's one of the best it's one of if i think in general if you want to get a good reflection of what england is actually like london isn't it you should definitely go outside of it whether it's liverpool manchester birmingham um newcastle those are better reflections of what actual what people from england are actually like than london because people like to pose here and you know um keep up appearances but in places like birmingham people just show out do you know what i mean they are who they are there's loads of freaks and weirdos in the streets and again this is meant in the kindest way possible um it, so it definitely does kind of um call for a very interesting selection of people same thing happens when you go to like liverpool manchester you go out to a cocktail bar or in a club around those kind of areas and you could you could be standing right next to a couple of club kids a couple of streetwear supreme like lads a couple of skateboard kids and then a whole gaggle of like you know milfs like actual milfs like 40 plus year old women hanging around having a drink and you know wanting to eye up some younger guys it's just a complete melange whereas if you go to a club in london you're usually going to find people that look like you right generally over across the whole entire um audience base no one's really gonna stick out really like a sore thumb but you see that a lot in those kind of places up north you know there's really like a really nice melange of people inside a club that kind of brings gives it a nice sort of different sort of atmosphere so i'm looking forward to that being a thing as well again with the genre of the music being afro deep there's a lot of range in terms of who would be interested in it again with the location it's interesting too um i think there's a picture here with the outside of it and what it looks like it's a really really cool location with all nice kind of art and spray painting on the outside of the building so it's going to be a really really good way to be let's copy this caption 
from them club.uk again follow them on instagram it says we'll be hosting our next event suki uh, suki event uh, suki 10c which is a unique music venue in digbeth birmingham the venue is committed to sustainability and is decorated with street art mural celebrating the future of black icons and influences of music and culture tickets go on sale next week look out for early bird tickets before they're gone of course so definitely check it out you find the link again in the description so you can hang out as well have a good time maybe get a couple of pictures on the outside of the building to upload on your instagram and then come in for a boogie or two you know courtesy of the rest of the gang that i'll be playing so yeah definitely definitely looking forward to it definitely come down if you are that way inclined club um creators of afro deep house it's going to be a fun one 27th of november 10 p.m until 4 a.m again i'll further the link in the descriptions definitely make sure you hang out come out show out um i'll be getting sloshed and bosh after the set most likely um i like to start sets kind of sober so i know what i'm doing and then as soon as that set is over i'll be on the dance with everybody else you know punch in the air screaming and whistling and acting like an absolute loon because why not why not